So welcome back to the channel everyone This is a classic series called MDV, my daily vlog And I'm just showing you what I eat, what I do, how I feel, everything Let's see what happens, I don't know Okay guys, it's my first time building Lego. So crazy. Was that perfect? <laughs> Was that perfect? Uh... <laughs> that Yo, finally finished it now. Yay! Are you happy now? Yay! Now smash it. I'm joking, dog. Hmm. Show them what it does, mate. Uh, you can drive. You can ride, forget. and then you can't see, but there's someone inside there. <laughs> injured. Oh my god! Good, fantastic, perfect. Ah, oh, so crazy! Oh, it's classic, mate. Hello there, Sophie's collection. As you can see, this is my fine establishment with all my Legos that I've accumulated over the past couple years and I am more than happy to share it with you. First one, one of my most recent ones, is the ATST. First seen in Empire Strikes Back, later became iconic in Return of the Jedi. This is what they call a diorama, but this is one of the most iconic scenes from Empire Strikes Back. Uh, this is when Yoda was training Luke Skywalker to use the Force. And it's one of my favourite scenes, one of my favourite quotes. Do or do not, there is no try. Uh, over here we have all our Lego Star Wars helmet collection. Um, individually for me to go through them, this is the Scout Trooper, Storm Trooper, Darth Vader, Boba Fett, Mandalorian, and Luke Skywalker's between TIE Fighter helmets. This, however, is not all my helmets. I have two unopened ones right there, the TIE Fighter helmet, which currently is the most valuable. Which hence why I saw Hey, can you just shut your mouth? And it's still mint in box. I decided not to open it and see how much it would become in value in the past few years. This one, my most recent purchase, is the Dark Trooper. It's not necessarily one of the popular ones in line, but I figured I might as well buy it just to complete my collection. Over here we have the Razor Quest from The Mandalorian. It's not the UCS version, the UCS version recently just came out. But this is a smaller scale, yet just as detailed. And I think it is a beautiful piece. With a lot, lot of play functions. You've got the opening cargo in the back, with some design in there. there. And you've got the cockpit. I would go into more detail, but you won't, you won't get that one. we're short on time. It'll be a documentary if we did, mate. That's crazy. What this can one? I say? Is the Sith Tie Fighter? It's one of actually the first spaceships that was gifted to me by my cousin. So thank you for that. Here is another one of my favourites. It's the Slave One Boba Fett Starship, 2019. And it is one of the most popular play sets with a lot more play functions and it's got this great handle, a very stable way you can fly around the ship. You've got the AT-AT at -AT. This is the Walker from the first scene in Empire Strikes Back. Another great set, very detailed, very big. But it's a bit flimsy, which is why I don't play with it. All my days. And lastly, back here, we have the Imperial Shuttle. Dun, 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 and yeah, they're exactly dun, dun, the iconic, the iconic dun, dun, dun. <laughs> They lift the wings, lift nicely, and it just looks beautiful on display. And I recently bought this just to up my ship collection, this is the x ray they are coming out with the UCS version soon but I figured I'd just buy the small scale one just so I can collect the minifigures as you can see the Princess Leia minifigure, this minifigure doesn't appear in any other sets which hence why I bought this one just for the set but I also am really a big fan of the ship itself 
yeah, this is my Lego Star Wars collection. I hope you've enjoyed.